Hey everybody, and welcome to Animal Planet Videos. In this video, we will discover the top 10 mistakes you should avoid training your dog. Make sure to watch until number one because it's one of the most common mistakes. Let's get right into it. Number 10, not starting early enough. If you wait too long to start training your dog, they may never learn the behaviors you want them to. Start as early as possible, preferably when they're a puppy, and you'll have a much better chance of success. The longer you wait to start training your dog, the more difficult it will be. Train your dog from the beginning and you'll have a better chance of success. It's best to start training when they are very young, so that it becomes second nature for them in no time. The longer you wait, however hard-earned though this may be, the more difficult it will become getting those behaviors down right away. Number 9. Not being consistent. Inconsistency is one of the biggest causes of training failures. Dogs are most easily trained when they know what to expect, so it's important that you be consistent with your rules and rewards. Training is a lot easier when you're consistent, because dogs can easily learn what they should expect from their owners by knowing that every rule and reward has been established beforehand. So make sure to be methodical in implementing these things. If you don't enforce them to understand why one action might earn him a reward, while another does not, this leaves his behavior up in the air which makes training much more difficult. Number 8. Yelling at your dog Yelling at your dog is not only ineffective, but it's also damaging to the relationship you have with them. It's demonstrated that dogs respond much better to positive reinforcement. This is the key to a healthy relationship. I know sometimes can be hard to not yell at your dog, but just try not to do that in the future, and you'll see how much better things go once we stick with positive reinforcement for our furry friends instead of being grumpy or mean. If you use positive reinforcement, like for example giving encouragement with treats, toys, or playtime, your best friend will behave better. Number 7. Not using the right rewards We all know how difficult it is to get a dog's attention. Luckily, we can use rewards in different ways depending on the personality and preferences of our pup. If you want your dog to perform a certain behavior, you need to make sure they're properly motivated. That means using the right rewards, which will vary from dog to dog. Motivation is a huge factor when it comes to getting your dog's attention and motivation for certain behaviors. Some may be more easily tempted by tasty treats like food, while others prefer praise or empathy. But don't leave them hanging without giving what they want in order to make sure both of your goals are achieved successfully. Number 6. Not being patient. Training a dog can be frustrating, but if you take your time and are patient with them, it will lead to success. The amount of work required for training is often underestimated by those who rush through sessions. This could result in mistakes that might be difficult to undo. Dogs learn best through repetition. They learn through repetition just as much as humans do. So set up regular opportunities where they'll get reinforced for performing desired behaviors, such as sit or stay. Training a dog takes time and patience. If you try to rush things, you're likely to frustrate both yourself and your dog. Go at their pace and be prepared to put in the work required for success. Number five, not paying attention to body language. Dogs communicate a lot through their body language. So it's important to pay attention to the signs they're giving off. If you miss the subtle cues, you may misinterpret their behavior and end up confusing or frustrating them. They are great at communicating with body language, so you should pay attention to the signs they're giving off. Some of the most common behaviors that dogs use to communicate are licking. This is often seen as a sign of affection, but it can also be a way for dogs to show submission or nervousness. Yawning. This can signal that your dog is tired or stressed. It may also be a sign of submission. Sniffing. Dogs have an incredibly powerful sense of smell, and they use it to communicate with each other and learn about their environment. Sniffing can denote curiosity, aggression, or even fear. Staring. A dog who is staring at you may be trying to dominate you. However, it can also be a sign of affection or admiration. Wagging tail. A wagging tail doesn't always mean that a dog is happy. The speed and context of the wag can give you clues about how your dog is feeling. For example, a slow wag with a slack body may mean that the dog is relaxed, while a fast wag with a stiffened body may mean the dog is excited or aggressive. Number 4. Not socializing your dog If you want your dog to be well-rounded and obedient, socialization is key. 
Dogs that are properly socialized are less likely to be fearful or aggressive and will be better able to handle new situations. This means taking your dog to places where it can meet new people and dogs and exposing it to a variety of different sights, sounds, and smells. The earlier you start socializing with your dog, the better. There are many different ways to socialize your dog, but some of the most common include taking your dog to the park, to obedience class, or even just on walks around the neighborhood. It's important to introduce your dog to new environments and situations gradually so that it can adjust at its own pace. If your dog seems hesitant or scared, take things slow and don't force it to do anything it isn't comfortable with. With time and patience, your dog will become more confident and will be better able to handle new situations. Number three, using punishment as a training tool. Punishment may seem like an effective way to train your dog, but it can actually do more harm than good. Not only is it cruel, but it can also lead to fear and anxiety, which can make training even more difficult. There are better and more humane ways to train your dog. Instead of using punishment, try positive reinforcement techniques, such as treats or praise, to reward your dog for good behavior. Punishments can cause fear and anxiety in dogs. If you are consistent and use positive reinforcement consistently, you will likely see better results than if you use punishment. Positive reinforcement is a much more effective method as it rewards good behavior and helps to create a positive relationship between you and your dog and will make training more enjoyable for both of you. Number two, training in short bursts. You may think that you don't have time for a long training session, but dogs learn best when they're given short, frequent sessions. A few minutes here and there is all it takes to help them learn and retain new information. In fact, shorter training sessions may even be more beneficial for your dog because they won't get bored or distracted. Plus, you'll be more likely to stick to a regular training schedule if you don't have to commit to long blocks of time. Also, before you start teaching your dog new tricks or commands, make sure they know the basics. This will help them learn and retain new information more easily. Start by teaching them how to sit, stay, and come when called and lay down. Once they have these commands mastered, you can move on to more difficult tasks. Number one, not seeking professional help. If you're having trouble training your dog, don't be afraid to seek out professional help. A qualified trainer can assess the situation and give you customized advice on how to move forward. Trying to train your dog on your own can be difficult, and in some cases may even lead to further behavioral problems. Professional help is a great way to get your dog on the right track and improve your relationship with them. In the description below, you have an online course that you can follow to learn how to get started. This course will teach you the basics of dog training, including how to train a new puppy, obedience train, and potty train. You will also learn how to solve common behavioral problems such as excessive barking and chewing. This course is suitable for all dog owners, regardless of experience level. You will find the online course on the first link in the description below. Which is the most common mistake you have made training your dog? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the notification on so you won't miss any upcoming videos. See you next time.